Hi guys, this is Bhagesh with C language first lecture. This is my English lecture. If you want to guys listen in Hindi, please go to my channel, subscribe it and see their Hindi lectures for Indian guys. Okay guys, what is C language? Why C language? This question we will see on today. Okay. My first question is why you should learn C language and answer it C language is most popular language in 21st century okay this also popular for writing uh, operating systems in fact first operating systems is written in C language which is a unix operating system right and after this i think windows and macbooks yeah right right after this means after some years windows operating system map operating system and linux operating system all written in c yeah guys this is shocking for you all operating systems like linux also written in c language and it's a anti uh, it's a virus proof uh, operating system and very popular in this days i am going to write here first is unix second mac linux these operating system written by c language okay guys then one main thing is in nowadays c language is using for machine level language like microcontroller coding microprocessor coding which is also known by embedded c embedded C what is the difference between embedded C and desktop C please go to my channel and find there what is the difference between desktop C and embedded C there is one audio lecture for it it is very good for you understand what is the difference between desktop c and embedded c okay what is my topic yeah uh, c is now embedded c using for microcontrollers and microprocessors Okay. This called embedded C, which is using for the electronics component periphery for peripheral communication or uh, microcontroller coding. It means this is the machine level language, which using C language. Okay. Okay, guys. If you are beginner for uh, any language pro any language or programming, then please first learn C language because c language is the mother of all languages in fact some languages written in c language yeah guys this is true means what i want to say which languages php python and Perl was written in c language and write down here php Python, Perl. Perl means Perl is a scripting language. Okay. C. 
Shared language. Okay, guys. This is our main topic. Next is uh, Python and Perl is written by C. If you learn C language first, then it will be easier for you to understand any programming language because number of similarities in C and another languages like Java, JavaScript, Go language. Go language is 90% same as the C language. Go is a Google founded. Uh, Go is founded by Google, which is very interesting language. I will teach you in my lectures. Okay. After after my introductory lecture, means this lecture, you need uh, two things for programming. First is uh, editor, and second is compiler. Edi editor. Editor for code writing purpose and compiler for code conversion. Compiler is a, I means what I want to say. Compiler is a small tools or software which is converts your code in machine language. Means zero on zero and ones format. What is zero and one format? This is a binary coding because our computer can understand only zeros and one then one question arises in your mind then why c language has a syntax and sentences guys this is only for programmer understanding syntax sentences comments variables this is only for programmer understanding not for uh, machine level okay <coughs> nothing more than that means only for the conversion this is because our computer understand only zeros and ones language means binary language uh, i think guys you know or don't know i don't know that what is binary language you know or not i give you a short introdu introduction for it what is a binary uh, i will okay i will do i will upload video for number of number system in which I will cover binary number system, hexadecimal number system, octal number system, decibel number system and all related topics I will upload on this. I will uh, conduct this in my next lectures. What is binary and what is number system. If you want to learn C language then it is necessary. You must know about number system because comparison, shifting of numbers and number and number places we need to number system okay guys please read or see my videos for what is number system because it is necessary for you because number of times number system is required for C language okay. for C language I think now you understand why editor and compiler for C language but don't worry these both things are available on internet these free softwares or ID yeah yeah guys you I think you don't know if you are beginner you don't know about ID ID is a integrated development information environments sorry integrated development environment I wrote down here Warment. Sorry, my spelling is wrong. Please ignore that. Integrated development environment. This is a computer software. You can use it for uh, as a code editor, as a compiler. Uh, ID which helps you to write your code. I'm using uh, 
I am using code blocks code block software for as a ID I had uploaded the video on code blocks how to install it please go through this video you will, you will understand what I want to say and what is the code block and how this work other things okay okay guys I am moving for next topic which is the history of C if you want to learn C language then you should know about history of C language why how C language come way from where who found that what is the standard of C language and other things okay guys uh, I will start from Algol for the history of C language. What is Algol? Wait for a minute. I... Mm -hmm. Algol. History of C. Okay. I will start from Algol. Algol is a root of every modern language okay algo was found in 1960 1960 uh, algol which is identified by algol 60 okay uh, algol is stand for uh, algorithmic language Algo rhythmic sorry not a algorithmic language okay after this in 1967 sorry uh, one I missing uh, after that in 1963 Uh, found CPL which is stands for combine programming language after this in 1967 BC P L stand for basic programming language basic programming sorry I will forget for one word basic combined programming language okay in 1969 BS, BCPL derived B language this is the uh, one founded by BCPL means this is the upgrade version of BCPL language in 1969 B language okay BCPL is discovered by Martin Richards. BCPL Martin Richards in Cambridge University and B language developed by Kane Thompson. In Bell University. Bell Lab. Okay. In 1972, C language found by Dennis Ritchie. After all these C language finally founded in Dennis Ritchie founded this language in Bell Labs. This language is 
mixture of bcpl b cpl and algol algol means algorithmic uh, algorithm uh, algorithmic language okay i have mentioned here algorithmic language this is a root of all modern learn languages now i will move for a c standards c has a standards like ansi c c89 c99 etc okay i will write down here c standards in 1989 C introduced by ANSI C ANSI C ANSI just uh, stand for American National Standard Institute in 1990 1989 introduced by ANSI C ANSI C as a ANSI C or C89 this is the standard names after that After this, in 1990, approved by standard and introduced C99. ISO approved that C90 by ISO. After five years, ISO again approved for 95. In 1995. And after that, this is C ninety nine, C ninety five is introduced for international level by IS, ISO standard. ISO again release or upgrade it as a C ninety nine in nineteen ninety nine. by iso now we are using c11 standards it is upgraded at 2011 guys this is important to remember don't forget it 2011 we are using c11 standard ansi standard in nowadays in next lesson we will move for move for first code in c language thanks for watching please 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 subscribe my channel like my videos if any suggestion please comment on this video thanks for watching